Greetings, metaphysicians. This is episode 108, Choose the Light. That's right. There are so many choices and decisions that we get to make on this free will planet, even including but not limited to our life path before we incarnate in. So if we want to keep raising up in consciousness, becoming more and more aware, why not choose the light? Enjoy the episode. You are listening to Let's Get Metaphysical. This podcast explores the spiritual and metaphysical world through the experiences and opinions of the host and those interviewed. It should not necessarily be seen as direct endorsement or personal advice to our listeners. We encourage you to use your own discernment, judgment, and intuition regarding anything you learn from this show. Let's get that up. Welcome to the Let's Get Metaphysical podcast. I'm your host, Renata Maniachi, here to remind you that you are a divine spiritual being having a temporary human experience here on lovely planet Earth. Make the most of it. This is season seven, Heaven on Earth, and this is episode 108, Choose the Light. We will see what comes through today. There's a few things I wanted to share before doing my invocation based on last episode and its topic, which was the dark no longer hides. You know, I shared my incredulity about the dark being so blatant and obvious in media, in government, in education, and everywhere, everywhere, right? And as if to hammer this point home, because in the last episode, I was talking about an experience I had of watching something on a plane that was just openly satanic, right? So last night, I am sitting on my couch, and you know when you have Netflix on, but you're not watching something, it'll do the whole screen thing, and it'll do little advertisements on the screen for various films and TV shows and everything. And it'll give you the name and a picture of what it is, and it'll say if it's a series or a film. And then even if it's Uh, one of the top 10 something, it'll say, you know, number one in Netflix series right now, or number two in Netflix films or whatever. And then they'll also give three words that describe what the feeling or the theme or whatever it's kind of about. So I'm on the phone last night and just my screen is on so I can see what's kind of popping up. And something popped up and I'm not even going to repeat the name because I don't need people to go watch this stuff. Something popped up that is the number one Netflix series right now, or at least that's what they're saying. They're saying this is the number one thing that people are watching on Netflix right now in terms of the series. And it gave the three descripting words. And the third descripting word was satanic. It literally is the number one, they're saying it's, this is the number one thing that people are watching Netflix right now. And the third descriptive word is satanic. So I'm not making this stuff up. And it just kind of gave me, you know, it just validated my whole last episode, which was, you know, perhaps a bit, I don't know, it was exactly what it needed to be. I was about to say it was a bit dark for what I usually do, but it's not, it's pointing the dark out, which is useful in these times when people are trying to wake up and trying to do what's right and be in the highest level of consciousness that they possibly can, etc. So here I am last night just talking to my friend on the phone and absentmindedly seeing the thing. And the number one TV show on Netflix right now is literally described as satanic. So The Dark No Longer Hides was very accurate and apt, so now we are going to counterbalance that episode with Choose the Light. We will see what comes through today. As many of you have heard, Olivia Newton-John has passed away, and I just wanted to pay a moment of tribute to her. Her song, Let's Get Physical, was very much the basis and the reason the angels dropped in the title of this podcast, which is Let's Get Metaphysical. And even several uh, seasons ago, we did a little tribute song that was a version of Let's Get Physical 
but with the words, let's get metaphysical, I think that's still floating around uh, the podcast programs where you are listening to this podcast. You can probably still find it. I think it was the episode two teaser, but I just wanted to take a moment to thank Olivia Newton-John for all of her contributions and specifically anything that led to the titling of this podcast and that song, which was really fun to do. Um, I did that with an acapella group that I was part of in Washington, D.C. several years ago. That was just a really fun little rendition of the song that we did. So Olivia Newton-John, wherever you are, I hope that you are in a high level of consciousness and blissfully floating around doing exactly what you want and need to do and or resting for your next lifetime. So thank you for your contributions to this podcast. I just wanted to share my incredulity that that is, you know, that's just, it's, it's beyond open and obvious now. So choose what you want to watch and be aware of how it makes you feel. Be aware of what you're letting in when you're watching and listening to things and try to choose the things that are going to make you feel the way that you want to feel. I'm not even going to assume that you want to feel good, but a lot of people do and most people do. And certainly if you're listening to the podcast, I'm sure on some level you would like to raise your vibration, raise your level of consciousness. So just be aware that these things are out there. And you know, it's, it's not even hard to spot anymore because they're super blatantly obvious about it. So, you know, you get to decide. The choice is truly yours. And I think that's why what is coming through today is choose the light. So let's jump right in and see what this episode is going to bring through. Are you ready? Let's get meta. Masters and angels, I request your presence, guidance, assistance, and support with this episode today. I invoke the light of the divine within me. I am a clear and perfect channel. Light is my guide, highest possible good, and only good is allowed. Please let me be the truth, speak the truth, know the truth, and become the truth, and let this episode reach whoever needs to hear it. Thank you with gratitude and full faith. Bless creation. So what is coming through so powerfully at this moment is that this is a choice. Everything is a choice. This is a free will planet. We are given free will. Now, some things, of course, are faded. They are plotted out in our blueprints, our life program, if you will, the script for your incarnation. Yes, there are things that are scripted out like that, but for important choices, little choices, big choices, we do have free will. And what we choose either keeps us on that blueprint to learn the lessons that we need to learn in this lifetime and experience the growth we need to experience in the lifetime, or it takes us away from that script or that blueprint. It always comes back round. It's kind of like if you're following a GPS, I've used this metaphor before, but if you're following a GPS to get to a new place you haven't been to, they'll plod the most easy course, right? But if it's a new way, you might accidentally turn a wrong direction and then they will have to recalculate the way to get there, right? And it might take a little bit longer. So that is constantly happening. That is constantly happening in all of our lives. And so that's where that choice comes in. So we have the choice to make it easy or <laughs> we all have, we all have things that we need to experience. But it, it is a choice. And at the very most, ba perhaps the most basic level of choosing, we get to choose what to listen to, what to watch, what to do, who to hang out with, what to say, how to react, what to wear, what to eat, what to cook. You know, there's infinite number of, I guess, what we could be, could be thought of as lower level choices throughout the day. But these all add up and they they lead to something. And with a higher level of consciousness comes a greater level of awareness. So as you are 
growing as you're evolving and your level of consciousness is raising and you, you become aware of more things so that when these choices are presented to you, you can actually see more and understand and become aware more of what each choice entails or even what you're learning in that very moment. That is what higher level of consciousness and greater awareness does. One of the many things. It allows you to see exactly what is happening in that moment from a vantage point that you didn't necessarily have before. So there may be reasons, there are reasons why you make certain choices for everything. And sometimes you have to, you decide to take the longer route because you've chosen that you need to learn this lesson in this way instead of in the other way. My teacher is always, or often says that why not learn your lessons through other people? Why not observe others and see how they go through their lessons and then learn from that so that you don't need to do that. You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to observe and then learn so that you don't have to take that same route and learn that lesson in that way or in a more difficult way, perhaps. So we're allowed to do this. And sometimes, many times people choose the heavier path even the darker path, or they don't know better and they think that that path looks more fun or whatever. And that's fine. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's fine. It really is because there's different levels of this. It might take them longer to get to the end point. They might not make the end point in this incarnation because they went too far off of their roadmap, but they will in the next one. It might take another lifetime or another couple of lifetimes. So like in the grand scheme of things, what is a lifetime? It is a drop. It's it's maybe less than a drop in the ocean of our whole soul's journey, right? But when you're down here, when you're embodied, when you're incarnated, we're in this vehicle. I'm speaking through a physical vehicle right now. That's temporary. This vehicle is temporary. And it seems like everything there is, and even lately, the just even everyone's body image stuff that they have. And it's just so funny if you just zoom out a little bit because it's such a temporary vehicle. It's like your it's like your car. Like I've had three cars so far in this lifetime, and I got really attached to the first one because I had it for 15 years. You know, I loved that car. I sobbed and sobbed when the engine just gave out and I knew it was just too old. I couldn't sink more money into the car. And I just remember (laughs) crying as I had to let go of that vehicle, right? This is a metaphor. that, That really happened. That's a real thing. And then I had to go and find another vehicle. And after a couple of years, I got that vehicle while I was in, it got smashed between two other cars because somebody was looking at their phone. I was fine, but the vehicle was totaled, right? I had less attachment to that car, that vehicle, because I'd only had it for a couple of years. And now I'm in my third vehicle and so far so good. But at some point in this lifetime, if I continue to live for the next few decades, at least I will have a new vehicle at some point because this vehicle, if I live another 50 years, will not last. I'll have to change it if I want to continue to drive. So this is the metaphor that's coming through for our bodies right now. But also just to say, yes, we're in it. Like we're in this physical vehicle. We're in the body. And right now, because this is where the majority of our awareness is, is living each day, is breathing each moment, is doing these earthly tasks that we need to do and and doing our spiritual tasks that we need to do, as so many of us are doing or trying to do. It seems like it's all that there is. It's so easy to feel that this is all that there is. But going back to what I said before, this lifetime is a drop in the ocean. If that, if that. So it is your choice. It's your choice how fast you want to go through it, how smoothly and gracefully you want to go through your lessons. You might love earth. You might love this vibration and want to be here. And therefore you might be making choices that will keep you here longer, not just in this lifetime, that will send you back, back here in your next incarnation and your next incarnation and your next incarnation, because 
that just might be subconsciously, you don't even realize it, something that you enjoy on some level. And you'll create karma that will send you back here. So many of us have been caught. So many humans have been caught in this karmic earth wheel. And it's not just earth. It's not like earth is the only planet that you can go to. But if you get caught in the karma of earth by creating karma against the earth or against humans on the earth or against yourself while embodied on the planet, etc., you may be sent back here to clear that karma because it was created here. Now in this state, in this vehicle, in this level of consciousness that I'm currently in, I don't pretend to understand everything of how the divine knowledge and ultimate wisdom of the universe works fully, right? Of course, I can't understand that in this level of consciousness, in this vehicle that I'm in right now. We all can ultimately, our souls understand all of it. But right here, I'm still human. I'm speaking through a human voice box. I'm speaking through a human body. But I know that we create karma here. We have that. That is one of the things that happens as we make choices, choices about what to say, choices about what to do, which direction to go, which school to go to, which drug to take or not to take, or what to be influenced by. What are you going to bring into your awareness? What are you going to decide is important for you? What are you going to decide not to engage in? These are all choices and all of these choices create karma and it would on any other planet too. It's not just this one. It's, it's, it's any other planet, but if you're making choices on this planet, in this lifetime, in this vehicle that affect you here and your friends here and your family here and the actual earth here, then wouldn't it make sense that if you created any negative karma around that, you would need to come back here to neutralize or ameliorate that karma, right? Why would you be sent to somewhere better? (laughs) Why would you be sent to, you know, a planet that's 80% positive, 20% negative, if you created negative karma here on this 50-50 planet, 50 good, 50 bad, which hopefully is changing. We we're going through a huge transformation right now, but this is what's coming through. So I'm just going to speak. So you make choices and you get to choose. And the interesting thing that people forget is, and we kind of hear about this when we're younger. I don't know that we hear about this so much. I guess it depends on if you're your parents or you grow up in a religious or spiritual community or what you're reading or whatever. But sometimes when you're younger, you hear, oh, you just know what's right or wrong and you can feel it. You know, maybe your parents share that with you, your teachers, whoever, maybe your angels, you know because children have still have that awareness. Many of them, they can still, they're still connected at that level until they reach a certain age, school age or whatever, and then they can't see or hear their guides anymore, right? But you can intuitively know and feel what is quote unquote right and quote unquote wrong. But what I, what does right and wrong mean? Because this is a duality planet, but also like what is going to make your journey easier, And what's going to make it harder, what's going to feel good and feel correct in the ultimate grand scheme of the universe and what is going to make you feel, make you feel wrong or like that was wrong or make your stomach clench up or make something tighten up in your body. That is a normal physical reaction when something isn't aligned. So we all have that. We all come in with that. It's very rare, even as we grow older, that we don't still have that. Sometimes we, as our minds develop, we can talk ourselves out of things or into things because our mind will create excuses or a scenario in which, okay, well, this is okay because X, Y, Z, and this is not okay because X, Y, Z. And that's your mind. And our minds get highly developed. They can get highly developed on this planet. And that can hold us back. But internally, you know, if you say something to somebody, you can feel the effect that that has 
once it leaves your lips. You can feel the effect that opening a car door and helping somebody out of the car if they need help has inside. All of these things, I can go on and on, but all these things you can feel. Now, thoughts don't come from nowhere. We, we think that we are coming up with, that our thoughts are just us. Many, if not most thoughts come from either a divine light being or a more dark type of being. You know, that classic image of the human and then the angel sitting on one shoulder and the devil sitting on the other shoulder. It's not so far off from being true. It might not be exactly that all the time, but thoughts come from somewhere. And maybe there are thoughts that come from your own highest divine self and soul. But a huge amount of the thoughts that you have come from this metaphorical angel on one shoulder, devil on the other shoulder. It's not so far off from the truth. And you get to choose who you listen to. And I'm not talking about like opening the fridge and being like there's a chocolate cake in front of you and there's a carrot and like, you know, the angel's going to say the carrot and the devil's going to say the cake. I'm not saying that. That's it, it, it's too much. I'm talking about other choices and even inspirations. I was just talking about this with a friend yesterday that these beautiful things and terrible things that have come into the world, whether it's the Sistine Chapel or the any great work of art or anything or anything, you know, that is wreaked havoc and destruction on society, whether it is some type of weapon, a bomb, or a manufactured illness that gets much of the world sick. These things come into people as thought forms from a divine light being or a not so light being. It's rarely coming from that person themselves inspiration. It's the inspiration for certain things. What does that word mean? Inspiration. If you look at the root of that word, it literally means spirit coming in to you. So the inspiration for these different things, right? What type of being is giving you the inspiration? For these ideas. I'll be, I've been super upfront and clear about this podcast. This did not come from me. It was inspired by the thoughts of angelic beings in my mind that were sinking down and I was picking up and it took a long time for me to follow through with them. Most of you have heard this story. It took at least two and a half years of getting these thoughts, getting the name, getting what it would be about and all the things. And it's evolved a lot since the beginning, as a lot of you know. That was inspired by angels of light. So maybe go th back through and pay attention to the things in your life that you've created or the choices that you've made. And who were you listening to? Which shoulder <laughs> were you listening to? Which being on which shoulder were you listening to? You have a choice in everything that you do and everything that you say. So why wouldn't you choose the light? I think part of the reason this episode is coming through right now is because we're at this critical, crucial moment right now on the planet. We've all become so much more aware of how the world has been working over the past two years by design. This has all happened by design to help us to see what's really going on behind the curtain. What's going on behind the curtain? And we've all gotten to see that more and more clearly over the past two and three years in different ways, in all different levels of society, which means that we are more aware by default. If you've been paying any kind of attention, you are more aware now than you were three years ago of the realities of this planet, right? And now we're at this critical moment where we get to choose what kind of world we want to live in. And I choose the light truth. And 
I want you to choose the light too. So pay attention. Pay attention to your choices. Pay attention to your words. Pay attention to your reactions. Pay attention to how, pay attention to the effect that you have on others and choose the light. There's always a choice. And as we have become more aware in these last few years, and this has been happening throughout time, it's not just the last two years. Some people have been awake to stuff way, way before anybody, you know, whatever. As we become more aware, we must be empowered to make choices. And so we see, we are seeing all the cards laid out on the table right now. The cards are out. There's no more hiding. Just like the last episode, the dark no longer hides. The cards are out. And before you couldn't see it, you couldn't see it. I talked about this at length in the last episode. They had to hide. Now we can see it a lot clearer than we could before. The cards are out on the table. What are you going to choose? What are you going to choose? Whatever that means to you, whatever any of this means to you, you have a choice. And for me, I want to ascend and go to the next plane beyond earth. Even if we transform this planet so much in even my lifetime that it becomes a 60-40 planet or a 70-30 planet, let's keep going. There's more. There's more to see. There's more to experience. Choose the light. Keep evolving. Keep ascending. Keep expanding. Keep becoming a higher and higher level of consciousness become more and more aware. Choose the light. I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you for listening. Stay positive, stay safe, and stay meta. The Let's Get Metaphysical podcast is an Up, Up, and Awaken production and is produced and hosted by Renata Maniachi. Our intention is to raise the vibration of the planet by sharing, validating, and normalizing spiritual and metaphysical experiences. If you are ready to raise your vibration, you might enjoy our free Let's Get Meta Master Clearing. To receive the Master Clearing or to learn more about the podcast, visit letsgetmeta.com. We like to share metaphysical stories and answer spiritual questions on the podcast. If you have a metaphysical experience you would like to share or have a spiritual question you would like to have answered, please send an email to info at letsgetmeta.com. The Let's Get Meta podcast is inspired by angels and supported by angels. If you would like to be an angel donor to the podcast, visit patreon.com slash let's get meta. Thank you for listening. Stay meta. Let's get meta. Metaphysical. Let's get meta. Metaphysical. Let's get meta. Metaphysical. Metaphysical.